So for the public health minute today, we're going to talk about diabetes. And as I was preparing this, I was thinking about um, something that I was curious about. Um, next, please. Because, you know, you hear a lot that you should exercise and that exercise is really good for you. And, you know, when you have diabetes, you need to exercise. And I'm like, why? Specifically, <laughs> why does it matter that you exercise or you don't when you have diabetes? So I wanted to look into this. Next, please. Okay. So we've had a we've had a pretty good overview of diabetes, but I'm going to go through this quickly so we are, we're all on the same page. So when you eat food, it goes through your digestive system and it turns into sugar in your guts, right? So your blood picks up all the sugar and the vitamins, everything else you eat. That's where you get your vitamin C. That's where you get your iron. That's where you get everything, right? Comes out of your guts into your blood. And so now it's floating around in your blood. Takes about anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. Next, please, Maggie. Okay, so the sugar's in there and it can't stay in there. Why? Because the sugar in your blood rips up your veins. It's physically, it, 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 it's bad for the, the, the cells in your skin, right, in your veins. It can make um, weaknesses that where plaques can build up, just like in heart disease. And the sugar is not supposed to be there and it is not sitting in there neutral. It is att like att attaching to other things that you have in your blood, like fat, like other proteins, things like that. And they're forming these globules that aren't supposed to be in your body. Um, Dr. McLean was talking about autoimmune problems from diabetes. Your body is sensing all this junk that's in your blood and that's part of it. And it's trying to grab it and filter it out. That's why we get that high inflammation with diabetes. Next, please, Maggie. So your body knows it can't have it in there. So it makes the insulin. Insulin is the toll that the sugar pays to come into your muscles, right? So the sugar can't get into your muscles alone. It's gotta have insulin with it, right? Next, please, Maggie. So you have, you have your sugar, and you have your insulin. And when they're coming in at the same time, your muscles can pull it in. And your muscles, when you're exercising, are wanting to pull in that sugar more and more and more and burn it because they need it. So if you have diabetes, right, why is exercising important? Because you are trying to pull the sugar from your body, from your blood into your muscles more, right? The other thing I wanted to mention that Mr. Bradford brought up keto. We've talked about keto a couple of times. Um, and I wanted to do a sidebar on that because what, um, what we're meaning by, by keto, um, you can burn sugar like this, or you can burn fat like this. In keto, you're trying to keep your sugar low and you're trying to focus on burning fat more. Right, so it's gonna keep the sugar, you have less sugar in your body and you're pulling less of it out of storage to burn. I just wanna put that out there um, when we talk about <laughs> keto and keto diets. Um, next, please. So I did not put gestational diabetes on here <laughs> because honestly, I forgot about it and I'm sorry. Um, but when we think about it, What's going on with diabetes? Okay, when you have type one diabetes, why is the sugar floating around and around and around in your body? Because you've got insufficient funds on your insulin, not enough in there, right? That's why you can do the injections of insulin. And that's one of the main treatments for type one diabetes. And then in type two, what can happen is that insulin resistance. So you have insulin and it's running around in your body but the receptors that are pulling in the insulin and the glucose into your muscles are not accepting the insulin. That card has declined, right? It's available, but it's not working right now. Next, please, Maggie. So is, why is exercise one of the things they tell you to do when you get diabetes? Because exercising is literally cleaning out your blood. The sugar that's in there is damaging and exercise is a way of pulling it out. That's also, we were talking about weight loss. Um, fat tissue in your body isn't doing nothing. 
that tissue in your body makes hormones and it makes chemicals too. So if you have more fat tissue in your body, it can mess with your hormones and it changes how sensitive your body is to insulin. Mm -hmm. 